Can you call me manager, please? Oh, it's Mr. Davis who owns Morrison's, isn't it? No, it's Mr. Fox. Yeah, Mr. Fox and there's a Mr. Davis because I've just called the Bradford store. Well, I don't know who you spoke to then, but Danny Dyer's our manager. Yeah. yeah. No problem, love. And I've also I just. I understand that because we didn't question you. Well, it's harassment as well because I've just been speaking to Mr. Willingworth. It, asking for a face mask is harassment. Yeah, it causes only, alarm and distress. Said, we only said, did you have a mask? We didn't see your badge, did we? If we'd have seen your badge, we wouldn't have asked you, would we? Hi there, mate. Um, please, can I just firstly ask your security guard to read the legislation from the government's website? So, so, so just. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. Where it says you're not supposed to ask a person for an exemption. And uh, this gentleman here and another member of your colleagues uh, asked me for a face covering. So I'm going to hand. Your security guard, Sorry. the legislation, what it says on the Sorry. government website, Sorry. and I'm also going to hand it to your store, and I'm going to take legal action because it's harassment as well. It's not harassment. Yes, it is harassment because I've just been speaking to Mr. Illing, Mr. Illingworth, PC Illingworth, and he's a very local bobby around here. Okay, that's fine, so I'm going to hand you this one. So I've proved to you. I don't need it, sir. Well, I'm just proved to you that I am actually going to hand you the legislation. You're not going to take it. No. I'm going to hand you the legislation. Are you not going to take it? No. Is that, I thought we dealt with the matter, sir. No, 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 no. You have, I've just actually just been speaking to my carer and he's actually very upset and he's actually thinking of taking you all to court. Okay, that's fine. You speak to your solicitor and that's fine. And I've also spoken to your head office in Bradford and I believe it's a Mr Davis that's in charge of this region's uh, stalls. Uh, and the lady actually put the phone down on me, so I've actually got that recording as evidence as well. And uh, by the way, I've got uh, a lot of uh, family members, uh, biggish family, and we're not going to be using your store ever again because it's disgusting on how you're treating disabled individuals. And if you want to ban me from the store and you want to give me a riveting evidence that you're going to ban me from the store, by all means, I'm at, I'll take it down. I think you've uh, blown the situation out of proportion. I think we, like we said previously, We've told you, like I said, we couldn't see the medical exemption. 
and we spoke to you around uh, the government guidelines where we're supposed to ask your people for a mask. I thought we dealt with it last time, so when you was in a few hours ago. I understand the government we've got a Government website, government information. So I've got you now. And you actually, I've seen the bit of an evidence okay. and everything like that. And you take it over your solicitor, send your solicitor all this information in and we'll deal with it there, sir. No problem. Yeah, okay, thank you, that's fine. So I'm here still allowed to come into the store, well, are you going to ban me? you said you don't want to come in store. Okay, well I'm though. saying if I, if I decide what Matt Morris might have a product that I might be interested in. Yeah, well, that's up to you, sir, and stuff, isn't it? So, uh, so you were uh, actually seeing the legislation yourselves I've now? I've seen the legislation. And, uh, are you a private company as well? Because so I know Morrison's I I have private security companies. Because I'd actually like to take up to because I'd actually like to take it up with this gentleman's uh, company he works so the for. The company that he works for, stuff like that, it's all been dealt with and stuff like that. So you're all fully aware. What is that of company, the please? Guidance. Guidance. The, guide, the government guidance. No, no, people. that's not that. That's guys. I asked what company the gentleman works for. Is it Shawsec? Is no. it Key Security? No, it's not, sir. Which company is it's it? Kingdom. Then? Kingdom. Well, I'll have okay. to get with Kingdom. That's I believe fine. that's based in Leeds, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. And I'll actually be speaking to the manager as well, okay. because okay. my uh, dad actually does work for Shawsec, and he actually does have uh, links with your uh, companies. So why are you recording this? Because these gentlemen are actually listening, the security guard, and you're all surrounding me. If you take a video, I'm going to delete it off here. No. I, know I can't delete it. Look, you cannot film public. Without yes, you can. Yes, look, you can. Look, if, if you want, we can get the police out. Get me the police. Get me the police now. I'll wait for them. Okay. I said, I thought it was dealt with last time, so like I said, I think you've just blown it out of proportion. Now we've, we've already dealt with it and everything. You wanted to shake our hands as well and everything. But now you just want to escalate the problem even further now. That's fine. I'll deal with it. Because I'm right still in my mind, in, in my mind to actually do all this because it's wrong. If you think it's wrong, sir, you don't need to shop with us. Uh, like you said previously in the previous recording, that all supermarkets are asking people to wear a mask. Well, I've just you been know, down to, uh, you know, just, just down the road, it's actually the Express, the Express, and I was never asked when I walked in, and it was the manager at the door. Okay, well, I can't comment for the comment. It's what you stated previously, so you know the law. The law is that you require I know the law, because it's just... That's uh, fine, that's well, and what was the confusion? The, the confusion the is... The confusion at the beginning was we couldn't see the exempt, so we asked you to wear the mask. But you're not supposed to... It even says on the website, my friend, Mr. Uh, Danny, yeah. store manager. Absolutely. Um, that you're not even supposed to ask. You are supposed to ask. Mask, mate. No, you're not supposed to ask. Oh, yeah. It says there on the legislation. That's actually from the government website. Okay. How, how do we know what customers are medically exempt for? If you just say medically thank, exempt. Thank you for all that you do. Thank you very much, Lord. Thank you. And is he calling the police? Or is... I don't know. You like to call the police. Well, he said to me he was calling the police, this gentleman here. I don't know, you were filming him, you were infringing in his... Uh... No, I wasn't. It's a public place. As soon as you open that door, it's a public place. Yeah, but when you turn the camera to people, who you shot... Because he was actually surra you were all surrounding me, and it's quite threatening. You're, you're speaking to me, you're, you're the one creating the scene. I'm not creating the scene. Yeah, you've just been raising your voice. I thought we could spoke to him last time. And your security guard isn't being threatening by coming up and asking people about a mask. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. A mask. And I'll be asking for your CCTV as well. Okay, that's fine. And uh, your body cameras and all that lot. That's fine. As you know, under data protection, you've got to write it in, so put the request in. I do. Absolutely. It's called a public access request, if I'm not mistaken. It's spot on. So I'm quite intense with the law. I'll just make it clear as well, you haven't asked me to leave the store, have you? Why should they ask you to leave no, the I'm store? No, I'm just making sure because it's, it's all been recorded as well. I know it's been recorded. So in case the police do come out and you're trying to say you've asked me to leave the store, or the security guards have asked me to leave the store, they've never said it. Okay. You want to 
burn your footage, that's fine, waste your battery. I said I thought we had sorted it last time. Obviously you've gone home and been a grief or something, and it's dead. Well, my carer actually has grounds to actually tell me as well where I can stand with this evidence because actually he's a so, so person that's in as well. Why come down to store and then we hear both sides of the story? Well, I can ask him to come down if you want to speak to him. We can all have a nice meeting. But there again, I'll still be recording it because it is evidence for me. It's absolutely fine. Here, no problem. Is that, and please can you tell me if the police have been called? Excuse me, Mr. Manager, is the police being called? Excuse me, Mr. Mr. Manager, is the police being called? Say that again, sorry. Is the police being called? Police on the way. Now we're in contact with the police. Just wait for the police to turn up. No, because you're actually circling me, and that's quite aggressive. I'm walking well. around in my premises. You're yeah, in my I know premises. you can do. Uh, you're good talent how to do that, but because she was walking around behind me, it's a bit aggressive, isn't it? I wouldn't say that, sir. You, you would know from the first recording I've been quite reasonable. You know, we've been know, speaking at a normal level. You've got all these staff members, and I'm on my own. You see my situation here. I get it, but what you've got to understand, sir, as well, is that coming in, you're sticking cameras in people's faces. They're gonna be a bit upset, aren't they? And, You've not asked for the permission, can we film it? We're just talking on a normal level, which is what I thought would happen on the first time. I thought, like I said, it was just a misunderstanding. We couldn't see your badge while you were exempt, and that was it. And then obviously you've come back to so I understand. I've come back with the legislation for you, That's so you fine. can actually understand that. It does say on the website, on the council, on the government website, and the space of proving to you as a manager, and it's of a store it, that is on what their website. I'm, I'm not disproving that it is on the website, but what you've got to understand is, as the responsible for this store, I've been told by our lawyers who, who set out the policies from the government, who give the guidance and, and make it the law, that we have got to make sure we ask people for a mask if they would require a mask. If they're medically exempt, then that's it. We so like if it's actually come down from uh, the government, like you're saying, right? Which government uh, MP or politician were that actually said you could actually do all this? Uh, we contacted our head office. So our, our company lawyers would have been in contact with the government to make sure we can still trade, uh, can still trade legally. Yeah. Obviously due to the current tears where certain non-essential retailers have closed, the essential retailers that stay open, mm. obviously have got to make sure that customers who come in store wear masks. Yeah. providing that they're not medically exempt. But wouldn't you think it would be appropriate and more official as a company, uh, as, and as a manager you can actually answer this, to actually ask your customers as well, that have actually got 
medical problems because you haven't come and opened it up to the people with these exemptions on how they feel. You know what I'm saying? So the medical exemptions, like you said, we, we can't, due to G G GDPR uh, data protection, we can't ask for medical advice to see yeah. it. So we've just got to take the customer's word that they are medically exempt. I can see you wearing yeah. a badge and you're quite within your right. But like you said, we couldn't see that badge when you first entered, which we just said, would you like to wear a mask? And then obviously this is where it's all escalated from. Because it, because I'm, I don't know if you've ever had experience with someone who's disabled and I was putting them on the spot in a sense how we feel because we feel like we're being bullied you know what I mean even though you're not bullied in a sense not bullying as in a, in a sense but it is come across as, as bullying because obviously I was on my own and there was two staff members in, and you know what I mean I was walking in put, just minding my own business just going to your store and it you know, you know, it's, re it's real. It does come across a bit. I can see how it's probably been uh, perceived as far, but like I said that wasn't the intention. So we have a marshal here to make sure people come in and draw it, and they have uh, provide the mask for them if, if they haven't got anyone, just to make sure people shopping in the store are following what the government is asking us to do. Like I said, we couldn't see your badge when you walked in. And we just said, would you like a a, a free mask? And that, that was it. And then. Obviously, we, we had the conversation last time, yeah. and then obviously you've come back and... Uh, well, I've come back, like I said, I would come back with the legislation, for you because that, that's some kind of human being I actually am. I'm very positive and I'm, I'm very polite, and I turned and did say to you, when you come back, in the sense that I would come back with what it actually I said, says. I, I said, I didn't, I didn't need you to... I, to, I'm to just saying, I said I would, so just that's, to... That's uh, look. Like you said, you've come back now, you've stuck a, face, uh, a phone in someone's face and you've made them upset. Class is a bit intimidating in terms of putting your phone in. You've not asked him can you record it. So that's an infringement. Well, it's important. Well, you don't have to ask. That's the thing. It's a public. It's a public right it's of way. It's private. No, it's, it's public. It's private. As soon as you open that door, it's public. It's private property. It's private property. So where, where's where's the where's the boundary? It's private then? property. So where's the boundary, Morrison's? It's private property. It's private property. As soon as you enter the car park. So this snicket here, then, my my friend, is that there's a snicket that goes down at the side here. Right. Uh, if I stand on that path where that snicket is, is that still classed as the Morrison's boundary? So where that gentleman's just yeah. come out of there, no, that's not property. That's that's. Well, in that in that case, you've just actually turned and said that I'm going to go and stand there. So when the police come, you can send them over to me there because you're telling me it's private property. It's private. And, and okay, as you, I managed to use sign something, it's private property. So you asked me not to film, fair enough. I'm going to go stand over there. If and when the police there, come, you can, you can send them over there to me. Thank you. So when the police come, you can send them over there to me. Thank you.